Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you guys Bad Baby's new makeup line. It's called Copycat Beauty. And if you guys have seen or heard about Copycat Beauty, this brand actually dupes high-end luxury products. So I'm going to be comparing these products to the real thing. I have the Modern Fairy Tale palette and I have the Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have the Tropical Glow palette here from Copycat Beauty and then I have the Sun Dipped palette glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I also bought some of these glitter eyeshadows which if you guys didn't know I am a huge Stila stan for these glittering glow liquid eyeshadows. So much of a stan. Are you ready for this? I don't think that you're ready to see this right now. This is like hoarding slash being obsessed or infatuated with one product that you need to have them all in every color. I'm about to expose myself at the moment. Right here, I have all of my Stila like glitter and glow eyeshadows in here and it's filled all the way to the bottom, all Stila. I just love these so much. I think they're so, so good. And I have bought almost every single color in these because I use them with a lot of my looks. I even have the new ones. So I think out of anyone, I think I'm a pretty good judge if these glitter eyeshadows from Copycat Beauty are just as good as the Steel ones. I don't want to get too off topic because I'm going to hit you guys with some info on this brand. So Copycat Beauty is cruelty free and as far as shipping, it says on the website it's three to five days. When I ordered mine, it came I think within like two to three days. It was really fast, like very fast and it is international shipping so it's available worldwide. If you do check out their website online, all of the products that they have, they actually have a display and photo next to them showing the product that it's duping. I have never seen this before. There are other brands that dupe products constantly. I'm sure we all know those brands. Cough Cough Shop Hush, huge duping dupe brand. On those websites for the other brands that do products, they never really show another product next to it saying it's an exact dupe of that. I'm pretty sure you can be sued for that or some legal action can be taken against you for that, but I really don't know. But if you look at their site, they have the modern fairy tale palette and then next to it they have the modern renaissance saying that it's a dupe. When I was checking out the website, I did see a few eyeshadows and palettes I did not recognize from other brands, so I don't think they dupe everything, but majority of their products, if not like, I would say 95% of them are dupes. There was maybe like one or two eyeshadow palettes that looked like they were their own original palette. I'm sure you guys have seen that Bad Baby is the face of Copycat Beauty and Bad Baby is the Cash Me Outside girl. She's a rapper and she is going to be the face of this brand. So she actually signed an endorsement deal for 900K to be the face of this brand. In actuality, it really does look like this is her brand. Um, it's her face like right on the website if you go check it out. She will be endorsing this brand for the next six months and if everything goes well, they're actually going to extend the endorsement for the next three years. She's also got something going on with Snapchat right now. She has her own TV show on Snap. So I think she's actually endorsing Snap as well, but don't quote me on that. I really don't know for sure. But I do know she has a really, really large following. 15.7 million followers on Instagram alone. 15.7 million followers is a ton of followers and she does have a younger audience. So that's a really strong influence she has over them. Personally, I have mixed feelings about this brand, but I will tell you why I like them already. I think everybody should be able to have access to quality products. Nothing is worse than using makeup that sucks. It is so disappointing when you try something it is at a low price and the quality is just low. It just is awful because you know you're gonna have to spend money on something really expensive to get the look that you wanna get. And sometimes you can't do that. So I feel like the fact that this brand makes products that are dupes of luxury products, it gives you accessibility and it allows you to try quality makeup at a low price. And I think that's really nice for everyone. Please keep in mind too that the products this brand is selling, they're actually at like a drugstore price and some products are even lower than that. So it is very, very affordable. I feel like this brand just kind of puts it out there. Their name is Copycat Beauty. 
And they're not trying to hide the fact that they dupe and copy these popular palettes. What I don't like is if it was my brand and they were duping my palette, I don't know if I would be happy about it. I probably wouldn't be. I'd probably be really mad about it. So it's hard to say. I have very mixed feelings about it. Sound off below on what you think about this brand already. I primed my eyes with the P. Louise base, and this is the eye base I use for pretty much every look. And now we're gonna jump into the comparisons. So here I have the Modern Fairy Tale from Copycat Beauty, and then I have the Modern Renaissance from ABH. On the website, I did not realize this until now. I'm looking at the website right now. It says the price difference actually right there in the picture of the product. So the ABH Modern Renaissance is $42, and the Modern Fairy Tale is $8.99. That is a really, really large gap in price right there so let's see how they compare so right off the bat you guys can see that these two palettes look almost identical to each other they have the same color story and everything maybe slightly different packaging obviously but the colors inside they do look almost identical to each other and personally if you were to change the packaging on the copycat beauty one i would never know that it's not the abh palette like looking at it it looks exactly the same to me so on my right side, I'm going to be using Copycat Beauty, and on the left side, I'm going to be using ABH. First, going to pick up the shade Burnt Orange from ABH and blend that into my crease. And I'm just going to follow up on the other eye with Copycat Beauty's Burnt Orange. And just so you guys can see, my brush is really coated in pigment and... There is a little bit of fallout, but really not that much. It looks very pigmented just from looking at the brush. So as you guys can see, there is a very slight, very minor difference in color. The only thing that I noticed that is kind of different than the Modern Renaissance is that the Copycat Beauty eyeshadow, it doesn't deepen quite as much as the Anastasia one. The Anastasia one, it builds a little bit and there's a little bit of darkness in the crease as I added more. And here it's more of a soft kind of color. It doesn't really deepen or anything. It's more flat. So now I'm gonna go into the shade Red Ochre and I'm just gonna place that in the outer corner of the eye. And now for Red Ochre from the Copycat Beauty eyeshadow palette. Okay, as you can see, I just placed that color down and it's not building as well as the one from ABH. I just blended it in. The one from Copycat Beauty isn't building as well. I keep on packing it on and nothing is happening. Like it just is blending into the other color and it's not really deepening like this eye did. So you can see the difference there. And this is my third time picking up that shade Red Ochre from Copycat Beauty, like the Red Ochre dupe, and it still is not deepening. So just so you guys can see the progress, this is the ABH side and this is the Copycat Beauty. So now I'm gonna pick up the shade Love Letter from ABH and I'm gonna go right onto the outer corner and just build that up, make it a little bit more red. And now I'm gonna pick up Love Letter from Copycat Beauty. Oh boy, this is not, this is not building at all. So what I notice is that these colors just don't build on each other. I am continuing to put more and more eyeshadow on from Copycat Beauty and it is not sticking to my eye. I don't know what it is. Like, just watch. I'm just going to let this whole clip roll. I'm not even going to cut into it. Dipping into it. Do you see how much I just grabbed? Tap onto the lid. Nothing builds at all. I'm gonna pick it up with a more flat brush, like something that isn't going to blend out the color. And I'm just gonna pack it on first. That works a little bit better, but it still doesn't give me the depth that I want. So we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna keep it pushing. I'm gonna pick up the shade 
Tempera from ABH, and I'm just gonna put that on my brow bone. So now I'm gonna go into Tempera, or what would be Tempera, from the Copycat Beauty palette. Okay, that one, that one is actually pretty spot on. It looks a lot like Tempera from ABH. So what I'm kind of noticing is that the lighter shadows are pretty dead on. Once they start getting deeper, they're a little bit harder to dupe from what it seems. So lastly, before we jump into the glitter eyeshadow, I'm going to pick up the shade Cypress Umber, and I'm just gonna take the identical shade in the Copycat Beauty palette and put that on my other eye. All right, so that's as good as we're gonna get for now. Now we're gonna move on to the liquid eyeshadows. So on the website, they have these liquid eyeshadows and they are dupes of the Stila's. And I have almost every color from them. So I am gonna do a comparison of these three that I got to the actual thing. So this is the Stila Diamond Dust. And then we have the one by Copycat Beauty. It is more glittery and it's just more sparkly, but they are not that far off from each other. I would say if anything, the color is a little bit different. Like this even looks gold right here compared to the Copycat Beauty one. So next we have Perlina from Stila and then the dupe of that from Copycat Beauty. It's like a opal color. It's very, very light. So now we're gonna go in with the one from Copycat Beauty. These two, in my opinion, they do look identical. On camera right now, they look the same to me. The only difference in person is the Stila one has a little bit more of a blue tone to it, but other than that, this really does look like almost like an exact dupe. You can kind of see that the Copycat Beauty one is a bit thinner in formula, like you could see through it more, and the Stila one is more of an opaque, very pigmented formula compared to Copycat Beauty. As a consumer who isn't a makeup artist or a makeup guru or a makeup collector, just someone who wears makeup every day, I don't think a normal consumer would know the difference between these two. I do because I put these Stila eyeshadows on like every single week, like multiple times, like because I love them. But if I was anyone else who just liked makeup and wore it, I would really not know the difference between these two. They look very similar. Just so you guys can see up close, this one right here is from Stila. And this is the one from Copycat Beauty. So they are extremely similar. I also got Kitten Karma from Copycat Beauty. So this is a dupe for the actual Kitten Karma from Stila. And this one's actually one of my favorite shadows from Stila. It's very popular too. I feel like this one is the most popular Stila eyeshadow out there. Kitten Karma is like a rose gold. It is so pretty. So we will first go in with the Copycat Beauty one. I had to look for a second because honestly, these do look so much like the Steel ones. It's insane. Okay, I am really impressed with that. First of all, I think that looks really beautiful and it was really easy to do a cut crease. I did dip in, I would say about three times to apply the product. And I think that's pretty good. For the price of this, that is really good. And just so you guys know, these ones from Copycat Beauty are only $4.99. So that is really good, I think. Now let's compare it to Kitten Karma. The major difference I see between these two is that the Stila one, I only had to dip in once, so it was really pigmented. This one is more glittery and it is more opaque. The Copycat Beauty one is definitely more of a sheer formula and it isn't as glittery as the Stila one. Is it very similar? Yes because after my Stila's have dried out a lot and I've used, because I've been through a couple of them before, they get dry like this and they actually look a lot like this towards the end of their use. So I do think that they are very similar, 
but the only difference for me is that the copycat beauty one is a lot thinner of a formula and it's not as glittery. So far, I just noticed that everything looks a little bit more rich and pigmented on the ABH side and the Stila side, and then the copycat beauty products are a little bit less pigmented and less rich and deep. All right, so I did my foundation, my lashes are drying, and now I wanna finish up the lower lash line really quickly before we jump into the highlighter. So I'm gonna go into the shade Love Letter from ABH. And I'm just gonna blend that on the lower lash line and then kind of bring it up into the eye look. And then I'm gonna take the shade Burnt Orange really lightly underneath that and just blend that out. Then picking up the shade Primavera from ABH, I'm gonna put that right on the inner corner. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with those same shades from the Copycat Beauty Palette and I'm gonna finish the other eye. I have the Sun Dipped Glow Kit from ABH and then I also have the Copycat Beauty Glow Kit and this is called Tropical Glow. They look to me extremely alike, almost exactly alike. The Sun Dipped Glow Kit is $40 and the Copycat Beauty Glow Kit is $8.99. So that is a huge, price difference, that's 78% of a difference. So let's see which one is better or if they're even comparable to each other. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Summer. And I'm gonna grab the shade Bronzed and I'm just gonna use that as a little bit of like a, a bronzer over that other one. That is gonna be hard to compete with, so let's try the Copycat Beauty one. And then with a little bit of the bronze shade. And because it's gonna be really hard for me to highlight like my nose with two different highlighters, I'm just gonna go in with the Copycat Beauty one on the center of the face and I'm using that shade Summer. The Copycat Beauty one is actually a little bit more subtle, but I don't think it looks bad. I actually think that they're very, very similar. Like the color is very similar. The Anastasia one is definitely a little bit more pigmented. It's a little bit more beaming and blinding. I would personally say that this is a really good dupe of the Sun Dipped palette from ABH. It does look a lot like it. This bronzer in here, it's a little bit more ashy than the other bronze that is in the Sun Dipped palette. So I would be really careful with that because it almost gave me like a contour on the side of my face because it is a little bit deeper. Now I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on Copycat Beauty. So looking at this look right now, I'm actually stunned at the similarities in these two eyeshadow palettes. Just to refresh, this side is ABH, this side is Copycat Beauty. Personally, I think the only difference is that the Copycat Beauty shadows aren't as pigmented and they are a little bit more patchy and the price difference is massive. The ABH is $42 and this one is $8.99 from Copycat Beauty. Personally, the Modern Renaissance looks darker, deeper, and richer, but the Copycat Beauty one looks a lot less intense, but it still gives you that vibe, that modern Renaissance vibe. And if you are looking for that vibe, I don't see why you would spend $42 on the ABH palette when you can get this one for $8.99. It's very similar. This is probably the best dupe of the Stila I've ever tried, and I look for liquid eyeshadows all the time because I am obsessed with these, and a lot of the times they crease, they are not glittery at all, and my main thing is like they kind of get patchy on the lid. All of the products I used are awesome dupes, and I just give this company a big thumbs up on the way they dupe things because they did a pretty good job. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me try out all of these products today and testing out this brand against ABH and seeing how the results were. I have never done a video like this before, but I actually really enjoyed it. So if you guys liked it, be sure you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and sound off down below on what your thoughts are on Copycat Beauty. Do you think this looks similar? Would you purchase from this brand? Do you think that it's messed up they dupe other brands and are so open about it? I'm just curious about what you guys think. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.